What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World and today was a lucky day for a lot of you dids man Notice how I said dids because you guys came up pretty big um, I'm gonna let you guys know EA Sports made a real real bad error a lot of you guys were able to get a, a ton of training This is what I want you guys to do though You guys got to stop really promoting it because what happens is like I'm not talking about promoting like like telling everybody that it's you know that there's a glitch like go ahead and do that But don't share what you have because what happens is it, it it's a higher chance that people are going to get you banned because a lot of dudes don't want to see you have all those extravagant eggs so when ea sports put this out for 17,000 training everybody went crazy now i didn't see ridiculous screenshots of people having 8 million training crazy stuff like that i would probably say get rid of that training you know like go you know the training variety pack is there still uh use it up with that because what they'll probably do is they'll look to kind of see who has a ridiculous amount of training also they know what's in everybody's binder so for those of you guys that think that you know everything's gonna be okay there is a chance that they may do something there's a chance that they won't i don't think that they'll do something because it's like easter bro like it's a very you know you got easter passover there's a lot going on are they that heartless that they will ban dudes during these holidays i don't know but i wouldn't put it past them so the next thing that i was getting asked is okay gee they raised the price up to 170,000 training is that worth it for an extravagant egg i don't believe so because what's going to happen is right you're going to get a lot of garbage pulls obviously because everything's going to be nerfed etc etc but you got to remember something right with the way the game is set up once they start opening these eggs when they're supposed to be released like we don't even know they're saying april 9th we don't know what's going to happen it might be similar to christmas i just don't believe anything that they tell us is going to happen until I see what happens. So once your eggs start to hatch, right, it's a chance that a lot of these cards are gonna be redundant. So it's gonna be a lot of the same cards and people are gonna just try to get rid of them. This actually happens every year. As weird as it seems, there's nothing unusual about what's going on. So I'm gonna show you guys what I did. I took the pretty much, what is this? What is this right here? A mutt tip? Oh no, thank you, we're good. We're good, dude, I don't, I don't want a mutt tip. Uh, I don't want anything with a tip coming from EA Sports. All right, so this is what I did. I, got, I took advantage of all the free cards. Uh, well, not the free cards, the free eggs that were given out. And I also took advantage of the daily, um, you know, little sets that they gave us to put together eggs. I have no extravagant eggs at all, right? I have none of them. But notice, I don't really care because I know once everybody starts to open up their eggs and everything starts to hatch, it won't really matter. We're going to be able to get the cards that we want regardless, so why go crazy over it right now? So objectively, for those of you guys that didn't get a chance to take advantage of the glitch when it was 17k, I would just say to stack your coins and just be ready to go when everybody starts putting those cards out for the same amount. Now, there are some... Um, ring of honor players that's been brought to my attention but they are not going to be new ring of honor players so that means that if you want any of these players that are here just save your coins up because people were doing the smart thing i heard some people say yo g should i get rid of my cards right now and sell them and then buy them back later that's always the best thing to do i am always against selling your whole team but certain players they're probably going to come down in price once the eggs hatch all right so what does that mean for you if you're looking for whatever player you want, I don't care who the player is. It could be anybody. Like, let's just go to like one of the main players that everybody's looking for. Like, um, let's say Deion Sanders, but we're gonna go to the type. Well, no, we'll go to quality. We'll go to 99, 98 to 99, right? Um, any of these players, if they just happen to be inside of that situation uh, where it's an extravagant egg, any of the gold 99, I believe that most of those extravagants are gonna be gold 99s, right? Wouldn't it make sense to get rid of the card now and then get the card back later when everybody starts throwing them out you know just dude it's gonna be regurgitating but just remember this though it's also a set piece so you can also just wait on the set there is really no reason to go too crazy as far as the uh the egg re-rolls go right now at 170 because honestly i just don't believe that the cards are going to be valued the right way once everybody starts putting their stuff out uh, so it just depends on like the whole thing with the early bird gets the worm when everything starts to hatch and people create a, like a price range for what the cards are supposed to be just be around at that time all right in the meantime okay any of these cards that you currently have that you want to get rid of right now there are a lot of people that are trying to get training because they want to get extravagant extravagant eggs they want to be part of the in crowd i don't care about that all right 
you can actually sell your stuff at such higher rates right now just make sure that they're around what everything else is going for because a lot of people do get banned incorrectly because they choose to you know put like some random card up for ridiculous prices and ea sports just goes wild you know what i'm saying ea sports absolutely goes insane once you go out there and you start doing whatever you want and putting cards up too high you will get banned it will be flagged as coin distribution is there a chance you're going to get your account back yes but don't don't take that risk all right so finally what i believe okay and this is just my my point of view you don't have to go with it you can do whatever you want however many of these cards you have if you're willing right now to go ahead and put them all up for sale you can make a very very pretty penny all of them are at least going to be for like a mil like you know randy moss tony gonzalez Deion sanders you know these guys are going to be at least a mil jerry rice all that stuff so right now one two three four five six seven you're gonna probably you could right now I can go up to 12 million coins, but I'll be losing all of my defense pretty much and a lot of my key players offensively. So what do I want to do with some of the leaks? We know that a Brandon Marshall and all that stuff. They, they, I think there's a few of the cards that they leaked that are gonna be coming out. But also remember this, right, guys? You should be stacking coins because you know golden tickets are gonna be here before the end of the month probably. So regardless of what goes on, even if you're not involved with getting any of these extravagant eggs golden tickets are on the way they already announced you know julius peppers so we already know that it's coming very soon i wouldn't go too crazy i'm just giving you guys food for thought because once you start getting into that mindset where yo i'm gonna go i'm gonna you know start spending all this training you're gonna lose a lot and also remember i think last year if i'm not mistaken they had uh golden tickets inside of the training reroll so there's going to be chances for you to use your training also to possibly pull golden tickets. So I would just say, you know, let's focus on the stacking of the actual currency and the coins. All right. So look, with the way my lineup is set up right now, we are now using Michael Vick. Definitely stay tuned. We're going to have some gameplay going on with that and some of the changes that we've been doing with that. And you can see that we're also at level 48. We're very, very close to the Calvin Johnson. Um, this is just some other things that you should be focused on. Um, also, the trade block is still down. So I'm unable, shout out to GJ coming through with a tier one sub in the middle of the video. I uh, appreciate you, brother. Um, you should be able to right now uh, focus in on getting to level 50, getting Calvin Johnson maxed out, and uh, taking advantage taking advantage of some of the free cards that you're going to get uh, through the actual uh, field pass. I recently just unlocked the free 96 overall. So, you know, there's certain things that's going on in the game right now that you could probably take advantage of while, you know, you wait this whole situation out. But again, if it was something that was going to be lucrative, I would say it. I don't think it's going to be as lucrative right now because if you weren't there early enough to get it, right now I think all of that time has passed. So I would focus on getting some of the free content that's in the game, uh, grinding out the field pass for the Sugar Rush, getting that part done, uh, because I think that that's pretty much very, very important uh, as far as you know, getting to this level 50. You can see, like I said, we're very, very close to getting Calvin. Uh, once we get the Calvin Johnson, we're going to completely get rid of the other players and we should be good to go in that regard. All right, so I want you guys to go ahead, enjoy your day, stay well, stay blessed. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.